Farming 101 with Missing Link. I'm here at a soybean field, do a little intro video on some irrigation. I'm gonna be doing a series of videos on different types of irrigation that are used. We're from flood, using an opening ditch and tubes, using a pipe to irrigate to what most people are going to now is these pivots. Uh, try to catch all these in action, live action, uh, running through the fields and show you the different methods that are used in irrigation. So just want to give a little intro. Uh, I'm going to have three or four different videos on these. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever have any questions on anything that I'm doing, just please leave it in the comments. Thanks for watching. All right, Farming 101 with Missing Link. We're here, bean field. These are soybeans. Uh, a John Deere tractor, a little plug. Got a killer hooked up to it. Uh, see it's pretty well lined up to go down the rows there. Uh, see we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's an eight row healer. We're gonna go back here and we're gonna get with Jeremy Tater for a minute. Uh, Jeremy, uh, so we got an eight row healer there. Is that what we got? Correct. So and why are we healing these beans? So we can run water down. So we're gonna we're gonna rows. put some pretty good rows in there when we heal it. Is that what we're doing? We're putting a deep. We'll go across the. Road we'll go across the way and, and show them some of the that's corn. already been healed. Corn. Okay, so corn's been, been healed. So what they're gonna do here is, uh, the way I understand it, we're gonna uh, heal this, and we're gonna come back through. We're gonna lay pipe along the end of this, right. and uh, then the, we'll open hook that pipe up to this little outlet over here, and we'll go into some more irrigation stuff a little later, uh, and I'll show you that, but. Uh, this is one of the processes to, before you can lay out your irrigation pipe, you've got to do this process. And like I said, they'll go right down these rows right here and put a nice little trench. We'll show that here in a minute. Uh, Farming 101 with the Missing Link. Farming 101 with the Missing Link. We're here at a corn field. What brand of corn is this, Jeremy? The cow. The cow. So we've got some decal corn here planted back in May. Uh, it's been healed as we talked earlier in our video. These are one of the rows that they heal in so they can run the water down. The water's coming out of the pipe. This water's been running. How long has water been running for, Tanner? 18 hours. 18 hours. This water's been running down these rows and uh, gets all the way through the end, gets a good soaking. And how often do you have to water this, Tanner? All depends on the weather. Just when Probably it needs once it? A week. Once a week. So. They're gonna go through here, they're gonna shut this end down that they've just watered with the valve, and then they're gonna turn turning these on to uh, do this section. Now, will this get this whole section from the ditch to the road? Yep. So they're gonna get this whole... So Jeremy's going through here and he's opening up these gates. Normally I'd be helping him, but he's doing a pretty good job here. So Tater's gonna go down the other end and start opening from that end probably would be my guess. Is that what Tater's getting ready to do? So, well, this is the process. Uh, corn's got to be watered. There are certain stages where you have to have water on it or it just doesn't do very good. This corn is tasseled already. You can see it's got some ears. They're not very big. So, this corn will be ready to be picked about when, Jeremy? October. About October. It'll be all dried up and ready to run the combine. You guys can see, let me step out of back a little bit compared to Jeremy, how tall that corn is. So this corn's looking pretty good, I think, in my opinion, which doesn't mean anything, keep that in mind. Uh, the missing link's opinion on farming does not matter. Jeremy here is our local expert in tater. So uh, corn, how's this corn looking, Jeremy? It looks good. Corn's looking good, Jeremy said. So had a lot of rain going in after they got planted, so that helps out a bunch. So uh, how many uh, inches of water are you guys getting this year? 15 inches, and that's 15 inches per acre. Is that how that works? Yeah. So this system here is on a canal system, and I'll show you a little bit more about that later, but uh, pretty much just comes down from Lake in Nebraska into a river system, and then into another lake, and then into a canal, and then into that canal system to the farmer's fields. A lot of it's underground now, but it used to just all be open canal. And I'm gonna show you some other different areas types of 
irrigation. This is a type of flood irrigation down through the rows. It, uh, you gotta lay all this pipe out. So they went along here and put all this pipe together and then run the water. Now before they harvest, they gotta pick all this pipe back up. So it's a pretty lengthy process. I'm gonna show you here in a little bit another video of uh, another type of irrigation that has really made things a lot easier on farmers, but uh, not every field can take one. It's called a pivot and you know, not everybody can afford one. They cost money. So they got to factor that in and all their stuff. So. Farming 101 with the missing link. Wasn't able to get up to the lake where the canal comes out of the lake. So I thought I'd just show you a little Google Earth image of it. This level lake over here on the left flows into there, flows down out the canal right there, enters the canal system. But I'd show you a map of how the water comes down the canal system. You see over there on the left, it starts out in Harlan County Reservoir. Water runs down the Republican River, runs into a canal system off of the Republican River into Lovewell Lake, and then out of Lovewell Lake into another canal system, out to the subsidiary channels, and canals, to the farmer's fields. All right, Farming 101, Missing Link, back here irrigating with Jeremy and Tater. Uh, Jeremy's been opening these gates, get some new water started. It's not all that time consuming, but when it's 110 degrees outside, it can, in between these fields, there's just no air. Uh, and a lot of these he's got to dig out, as you can see there. He's got to let the water on. The gates just don't match up perfectly all the time. So about every third or fourth gate, he's having to dig out and make it go down a row he wants it to go down so that it doesn't erode out the wrong row. These other rows have already been watered, so it's time for these to get watered. Uh, Earlier we talked about 15 inches per acre. That's, uh, you know, per irrigated acre for their fields. They don't get that for, like this corn over here, you kind of see a difference maybe. It's just because it's the heat of the day. This corn's really looking good too. But you can see how its leaves kind of look a little lighter uh, compared to these over here. So this is irrigated corn over here. And you got dry land corn over here, all the way back on this side. And mainly this is dry land corn because the water, they can't, the way the slope of the land is, they can't get water to run down it properly. All the water wants to run to one way, so it doesn't make any sense to try to irrigate it. So we're gonna go down here and pick Tater up and uh, see how he's doing down here. And we're gonna show him a, uh, where this water comes in at down here. I'm not sure where Tater's at, he's headed back to us. We're headed to him. So Tater's got these all opened up. So this is a type of flood irrigation. Like I said, all these rows got to be watered at certain stages. You don't water it, your corn dies and there's no corn. Now there's certain times when it can take a little more heat than it needs to, but Basically, there's a guy that works for the district, the water district, and he'll open up that valve right there, and it lets it in from an underground tube that comes through, and it'll go right into this tube and start up their watering process. So that's how that works. Uh, farming 101, missing link, back doing some irrigating, checking it one time more in the evening. Had one going down the wrong row, really, here. So caught that just in the nick of time. Jeremy's gonna dig out this row a little more and throw the dirt over here on this side so the water run down the right row. Or if not, you're just, this row's not getting any water on this plant over here. So really that's caused from that gate shooting the water that way. But luckily it's not 110 out here anymore and it's a little more easier in the evening. So if Jeremy doesn't fix that, basically that whole row on the end doesn't get watered. Is that what we're dealing with, Jeremy? Yeah. So there's some little farming 101 right there. That's why you gotta constantly come out here and check these, make sure that you know the water's going down the right rows. It sounds like a really, you know, it's just not rocket science, but if it's not going down the right row, you're gonna have a whole row that doesn't get watered. So here's Jeremy doing a little bit of hard work there. Remember, you eat, eat anything, you think of a farmer, they're, they're the ones out here doing all the work. 
So corn looks a lot better at night. Sun goes down, it's not beating on it. Get a little look at some of these ears here. Those are developing nice. Two ears on them. How's that look, Jeremy? All right, he thinks he's gonna run. We'll see though, we'll come back and check it, I'm sure. What he did there, it looks like he opened up a different gate. That's exactly what he did. Well, I don't know if that dam's gonna be big enough, I wanna be honest. So, all right, well that's Farming 101, Missing Link, Jeremy and Tater, ear gating. See you later. Farming 101 with the Missing Link, here with Jeremy and Tater. For another field, I believe Tater Farms this. He's got his pipe laid out. I'm gonna show you where the water, talked about in one of my other videos, coming down through the canal, comes into this box, and then goes out into the field. Here, I'll get a shot of that a little better for you. Well, let's get a shot of this. So, they do the turnout. So this right here, got a little raccoon coming up on here, taking a drink right there. But, so this is the canal system right here. This all comes down from the lake, a little later on, I'll show you a video of the main canal that it comes out of. But uh, you got to turn out down there and you got to turn out in here. They just crank that down. And I'll have Jeremy or Tater explain that here in a minute. So the water comes out, goes down in here, ends up in that box right there. And then into this pipe flows down the pipe and this be one of those where they'd be opening gates like in our last video we got some deer tracks there deer like corn also deer raccoons but uh tater's trying to make sure this uh screen right there is cleaned off so it doesn't get clogged so let's go back over here yeah a lot of this irrigation uh once you get it set up it's it runs by itself but you got to keep continuously checking it like that screen right there you don't want to get clogged or your water going into your pipe is not gonna be the same flow so it's not gonna be going down the roads as fast so so uh, who's your uh, ditch guy Dan Reynolds Dan Reynolds oh I know Dan is that Mary's husband Oh yeah. okay I know Dan and Mary so uh, is that I, I pretty much explained that that we're here making sure that screens clear so that the water flows the same is that correct yep. so your ditch guy comes out here meets you and he turns that water on and then you start opening up the gates is that how that works yep. foot, foot eight. how much a foot eight foot eight and, um, and that's some calculation i'm assuming off based how many inches you're getting per acre correct right. yep. so how long will this run on this field uh, three days and how many uh, acres is this 45. 45 acres and you got to change it at night yeah 24 hours this will run so here we got a shot of uh, this canal I don't know what you'd call what would you call this as far as it's not the main canal it's just like a subsidiary off the canal yeah. one of the canal channels so uh, like I said we'll try to get a video of the main canal where it comes out and uh, show you that this is pretty good looking corn too this is good looking corn Jeremy yeah. all right you guys done here we're done. irrigated, we're irrigated. Well, that wasn't so bad Alright, Jerry and Tater, this has been Farming 101 with Missing Link.